What's going on guys, James Exotics here and in today's video I'm going to be talking a bit about the Western Hawknose and what it's like to handle them even when you've been handling them for quite a while. So as you know I've had mine probably for about nearly a week now. But he's currently in the shed and he's really not in a good mood so I don't really want to try and piss him off too much. I'm just not intentional to. But he's going to make me jump when he strikes this time as they do strike with their mouth closed. Um, it's always worrying and it always makes me shit myself for the first time so it's probably going to be quite a funny reaction I guess but um, you get used to it once they're out because you know what they're going to do after the first one but I really do hate the first strike they do and the hiss so you'll probably be able to hear the hiss and see the strike in but these guys are never happy when they first come out as they always think it's food so um, what I'm going to do now is try and get him to come up a little bit somehow I don't really know how there we go, like that, and um, what he's going to do is he's going to strike and hiss at me, and he's going to make me shit myself. And I'm surprised he hasn't actually. Okay, so I'm a bit surprised he didn't strike up there, nothing, no hissing. I must have picked him up right or something, or maybe I'm speaking too soon. But um, normally with these guys, is surprising how calm was that time, is that um, they do strike with their mouth closed, they do hiss, they puff up the hood and make them look as big as they possibly can to scare you off. Um, but these guys are brilliant to have as a probably maybe a second or third snake you're going to look into. You can probably get one as your first but I wouldn't advise it if you're not used to snakes yet and stuff as they can, as they are hissy. So um, with this one I finally named him, I've called him Rocky, as he reminds me of rocks I guess, I don't know. His skills are really tough so that's one thing. And um, with these guys, well, they're the same temperatures as corn snakes, so if you're looking to set up a thing for them, you don't need huge enclosures and stuff for these guys, as they are not they don't get big at all. So he's pretty much at full length now, as you can see on this box. Um, he's really not long at all. They get like another six inches more at most, and um, they double in fat, and that's about it. They don't get too big, um, maybe about a foot to foot and a half. But um, with these guys and stuff, you just want to use like um, aspen bedding. So the stuff I use is that where you can buy. I don't know how well you can see it or whatever if the camera's focused or not. But um, it's from Pro Rep, so you definitely go on their website or buy from them as it's really good and stuff. The aspen's perfect from us that keeps them up the humidity they need. Um, they need a small water bowl that they can just about get into or they can fit into. Nothing big, always there be too much humidity and they don't like that. But um, they don't like, the one of the different characteristics with these snakes is the fact that they don't always sliver. You'll notice if they get a little bit stuck, they'll sort of shuffle like a worm. But um, you definitely want to use Aspen and a uh, piece of cork bark is what I use for his hide. Uh, he's only got one at the moment, but that's it. There's nothing for him really there, it's just flat. So you just keep that in there and stuff, and it keeps him happy. So they can borrow and stuff, and he's made plenty of tunnels probably underneath all this stuff. So you want to feed them on as babies, probably small furries or fuzzies, something like that. When they fully grow, they eat on 30 gram. I think it is mice. It seems a corn snake will and have a corn. But um, these guys are really cool to own. So definitely look into getting one if you haven't already, and you want to up your snake collection or even start breeding these guys. They are venomous, but the venom isn't anything to us, it's only in the saliva, so it's good to use against um, toads or anything like that, which is something they do like to eat, is toads. But I would still personally feed them on mice or something. And um, they do have, I think, two rear fangs that do not inject anything at all, but um, they're just there to keep the uh, food in, so they're really cool to have one of these. If you do not have one, then I'd say definitely get one. Other than that, guys, I don't really know what to say about this video or for this video. So I'm just going to put him back into his box and leave him enjoy his night as he's currently in shed. And I will definitely see you on Tuesday in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you then.